What's up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Turf Therapy. In today's episode of Turf Therapy, I got two products that I'll be using that I wanna show you. And the first product is Lawn Energizer. Lawn Energizer from the amazing company, Simple Lawn Solutions, and a new plant growth regulator. So, my lawn looks pretty good, right? It's slightly overgrown. But unfortunately, I kind of need to leave it that way because the Lawn Energizer specifically tells you don't mow the lawn 24 hours before or after the application. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to throw some Lawn Energizer down, which is essentially a little kick of nitrogen. But the thing that I really want out of this is the chelated iron. I want to see what this iron pop looks like. And although I am approaching summer, I still have about two weeks of some pretty decent weather uh, coming up. And you're supposed to apply a new when the grass is vigorously growing. My grass is doing that, but it is about to enter a stress period. So if you look at the label on the new, it says use the lower rate if you're going to do it during a stress period. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick, a little before shot, before, I get this working. So as you can see, the lawn looks flush. It looks full of life. It looks nice and fluffy, beautiful color, green, but I'm not quite satisfied with it. I want it to get darker. I want the domination line to be in full effect. And I'm just not quite happy with it. I know I can get a little bit more green pop out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna apply the lawn energizer today and then after I get the lawn energizer down, I'm gonna come back behind with the new. No need for me to waste your time showing you how I do that. Just read the label, it's really easy, super simple. I'm just going to bring you back to show you the results. In let's say four days, yeah, four days. Stay tuned. We were past the four day mark. You know, life happened. You know, everything that's going on nowadays, sometimes you just gotta drop all your plans and shift gears. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I apologize for not coming back at exact four days. But we are at day six and <sighs> that looks good, man. There's some stragglers because I got a, what I call a dirty mow in. That's when you don't really worry about the edges. You don't worry about your perfect lines. You just get it done, because you gotta get it done. This back looks stunning. Outside of uh, my dog's pee, which is weird. This is the first year. This is the first year I've had to deal with this. I've never really, my dog's pee has never burned before. And I don't know it's if it's because I haven't yet started watering my lawn or, um, Maybe they just got the grown-up pee going on now. I don't know, but that's wild, right? I got a whole bunch of burn marks all through the areas. I'm not gonna sweat it because I got turf in. I'll pull it up eventually, or maybe not. It doesn't really matter. This is more so their playground than mine. My playground is the front yard. The side plot is for the kids so they can actually have <laughs> some grass to play in. Um, not my kids. I don't have any kids, but just kids in the neighborhood so they can enjoy it. They really enjoy it. And then that's about it. So let's go ahead and get this proper mill in um, and get the rest of this film over with. All right, cool. Real quick guys, if you have a chain linked fence, and you have to edge your chain link fence and you get tired of this happening. Then all you gotta do is make sure you look at the way that your head rotates. So my head 
rotates counterclockwise. And then when you walk the fence line, just walk with the flow of the rotation. If you try to go against the flow of the rotation, that's when this happens. But when you go with the flow of the rotation, then it's nice and smooth like this. All right, let's get back to work. Look at this color. Like, ignore, ignore the, the, the dog pee stains for a moment and just bask in the glory of this rich, dark green. So like I said, we did an application of Simple Lawn Solutions Lawn Energizer. That one bottle covers 3,200 square feet, which, what do you know? That's the perfect size for my lot because in, in the area I commandeered because that's 3,200 square feet. So. The backyard is looking freaking amazing. This might be my new favorite liquid iron. So I think, I think the product has 5% or 6% chelated iron. And we know that chelated iron is the way to go when you're looking for liquid iron because why? Um, it's readily available for the plant to be able to digest it through the foliage of the plant. So when you do something like that, this is the type of color you get. Now by me, by all means, my lawn is far from perfect. I got some weeds in here. This yellowing that you see, that's POA. I'm not really worried about chasing this stuff, guys, because it's gonna die out here soon, as soon as we get the real heat. These little blotches, tiny little blotches, you know, not the worst thing ever. I'm not worried about it. Because as soon as it finishes checking out, I'm gonna take my handy dandy turf man, rip that up, and then plug it in. It's gonna be too easy. All right, guys. Let me bring you around to the front though. Look at that. Look at her in all her glory. So, to speak to the new, this is what I will say. It's too soon to tell. But I did this application of a new when I did the lawn energizer application, right? And usually, well, leading up to that application, I was getting about an inch and a half of growth to two inches within a few days. I was mowing every three to four days. I did this application and it had been five days since I mowed and I might have had an inch of growth. So I'll tell you, I've already noticed that the lawn has slowed down in some accord as far as its growth rate. The main reason why I bought the new is because of the Poet Trivialis that might return in the fall. And that's why I have it. Guys, you have to read the label. I will give you this one last tip. Growing Degree Days Calculator, GDD. That is what you wanna look up. There's a few different websites that have them. Get plugged in, up to speed on that. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Turf Therapy with Real Healing Lawns and Souls. And I'll see you next time for your weekly dose of therapy with Rob.